Introducing the participants, first to my left, weighing 242 pounds, the king of Hoss Island, the gorgeous grappler, the handsome hooker, Thomas Shire! And to my right, representing unsigned and don't care, from St. Louis, Missouri, Gary Fucking J! Well, ladies and gentlemen, this match needs no introduction. It's our main event here tonight at Grandel Wrestling presents From Dusk Till Dawn. It is a Texas death match, and it is Gary J versus Thomas Shire. Gary J starting out hot. Big shot to Thomas Shire, big dive. Pat and Gary J start to a match, and Thomas Shire knew it, trying to get away from the dives, but Gary J keeps adjusting, comes out for a third one. A triple series of dives, a signature of Gary J. Started out with one of his patented heavy hands as well. Rock Thomas Shire out to the outside. Ladies and gentlemen, one of these men has to be beaten until they will no longer be able to answer a 10 count. And if you know these guys, they are both prepared to fight until they are burger tonight. They share a lot of respect for one another. They've shared a lot of blood and sweat in this ring. But once they get between those ropes, or out here on the outside for that matter currently, there is no love lost. There is a huge history between these two. And they absolutely will fight to the death here tonight in this Texas death match. Big shot to the chest of Shire. Shire wore the traditional Texas death match uniform of a white t-shirt, taped up hands, and blue jeans. Gary J has already made sure to open that chest up so he can hit his patented shots. Shire reeling in the early going, but I talked to both of these guys before the fight. They both know this thing is going to be a long haul. It's one thing to pin one of these guys. Oh my god! Oh my god! Shire with a razor's edge out into the crowd! Dumps him on top of the chairs. My God. Thomas Shire with a razor's edge into about the third row here at Pops Nightclub. And we have our first count of the evening as official Adam Kennedy is out there counting. He's up to five now. Calls the count off at six, but Thomas Shire definitely just changed the game here by chucking Gary J out to the crowd. You see the crowd here at Pops Nightclub dispersing as the fight has gone deep into the audience here. Cameramen are chasing. Referee is chasing. This thing might go all over Sage, folks. I'll do my best to keep my eye on the action. European uppercut. Sends Gary J back and out of his chair. There are multiple referees out here trying to get control of this contest. But I think this thing is well out of control. And Gary J. Gary J almost with an involuntary movement on his way down to the ground. That's never a good sign. This could be over. And you hate to see this thing in in a flash, but... Well, like I said, you know, they, what's scary is that... Think about what these two guys would do to someone they hate. These guys actually like each other outside of the ring. They both root for each other, but when they get in there across from the, each other in the square circle, it's every man for themselves, and these guys take absolute pride in their work. And what their work is, is right here. Right here in front of these fans, right here. You guys watching at home on YouTube, on Grando Wrestling. This is it. They are fighters, through and through. And 
to be held down to for a count of 10 is almost unfathomable for me for either of these men. Gary J. Big chop to Thomas Shire. He's got him sat down right down here in front of me. Gary g up for something. Comes in running hot. Uses his body as a weapon. Throws himself in a senton to a seated Thomas Shire. And with that, Pops is Gary J country. Crowd coming unglued for Gary. He has a following everywhere he goes, but Thomas Shire has also developed a relationship with this audience that it takes years to cultivate. Or almost back from the dead there, Shire picks an ankle. Kick right on the inside of the knee of Gary J. Thunderous strike there from Thomas Shire. Big right hand. Small of his back right with a steel ring apron. Shire, mammoth hands on Thomas Shire. Connects with a big overhand chop to the chest. Just throwing Gary J around like garbage. Shire may be the first one to go into the bag of tricks here. It looks like he's got a table that he's pulling out from under the ring. Shire trying to get space, and this thing is this thing is a fight. We knew that's what it was going to be. We had amazing wrestling matches here tonight, folks, but that's not what this is going to be. Shire better watch out. Gary's got that chair right to the right to the midsection. Oh my God! Shire, Shire got knocked the hell out with a forearm, and Thomas Shire. Well, collapses back onto the table, table breaks, he crashes to the ground, and the referee's counting. He's up to four. Shire is stirring. That's all it takes though, folks. Either, both of these guys hit so hard. Gary J with those forearms, and Thomas Shire with those European uppercuts. I mean, you can get a flash knockout in a match like this. I mean, we're all prepared for this thing to go to the distance. We know how tough these guys are, but at the end of the day, all it takes is one well-placed shot, and you're the winner of this Texas death match. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Shire. Shire gets a chair shot right to the small of the back. Gary J wrapping it. Chair around the head of Shire and sends him into the top turnbuckle. And lining up with a chair, home run shot to the head of Thomas Shire. Steel meeting steel meeting skull. And the official has started the count. Gary J might have just wrapped this thing up. Referee up to five. Thomas Shire trying to find his way to a corner. Up to seven. Shire rolling out to the outside. Shire at the last second, the literal last second, able to pull himself to his feet. But now he's got to battle Gary. Stuffs him under. And Thomas Shire with a thunderous power bomb on the apron. Gary J landed hip first on the apron. That can cause a very serious injury. This may seem vicious, folks, but this is this is what you have to do to win a match like this. This is what you have to do to win a fight like this. Shire burying him under a mountain of chairs. And now he's, he's untying the ring apron. Shire has incapacitated Gary J. Enough that he can plan his next shot in case Gary J can't make it up. All the offense, though, 
you can't beat a guy up while the official is counting. So every time that Adam Kennedy went to go start the count, Shire threw another chair. And here he is again. Every time he connects with Gary J, that sets the clock back, even if Adam Kennedy were counting. So Shire sees him stirring and knows he needs to deliver more punishment as well. Referee Adam Kennedy distracted by whatever Shire is setting up. Oh, and another thunderous chair shot. Gary J keeps getting up close to a vertical base, and Shire keeps just knocking him back down. We knew this thing was gonna be brutal, folks, and already it has proven to be just that, a brutal fight between two of the best in the world, Gary J and Thomas Shire, right here tonight at Pops Nightclub. And from dusk till dawn, what is Shire planning here? He's, I thought he was untying a ring apron, but that's not the case. He's, oh God, another chair shot to the back. Every time Gary J almost gets to a vertical base, Shire is incensed here. Shire's in another gear. And we've seen this lately in this contest. I harken back to his recent match at St. Louis Anarchy versus Anakin Murphy. And it was like he was all business. He went in there, he knocked that kid around, he knocked him out, pinned him, and he was out. He didn't even raise a hand in victory. And here we are again tonight, a different Thomas Shire, a more focused Thomas Shire. And again, I talked to both of these competitors before this matchup, and, and Shire is sick of being the guy that comes up short in these big scenarios. Here tonight, he was lucky enough at dusk till dawn to get the main event spot in a match with Gary J. This is the type of match he wanted. And here he is. He, need, he knows he needs to deliver if he wants to stay in this main event spot. And, and Shire, Shire's plan is coming clear here now. He's, he's deconstructing the ring. And Thomas Shire is tearing the ring apart. He's trying to expose the wood that's underneath the padding of the wrestling ring. Gary, I don't even think Gary's attempting to get up. He realizes that, that Shire threatened the referee not to count. And so he's just been trying to recoup on the outside. That is, if he even can stand. He, he took that power bomb on the apron right on his hip. The crowd is trying to get behind Gary. Shire is launching chairs at him again. My God. Crowd once again trying to cheer for Gary, trying to get him back up. Gary J may be injured. He's out there. He's trying to. Here goes Thomas Shire. Shire has finally completed his mission here. He's got the the ring torn apart and delivers another chair shot to the small of the back of Gary J. Shire's got another table now. My God, there's so well, what kind of how many bags of tricks do you need here? What could, what could Shire be planning here? He's already torn the ring apart. Now he's introduced a, a table to the mix. And folks, under that, that wood is pure steel. The wrestling ring is comprised of all the components that you've seen torn apart here. And and steel beams under there. I mean, you see now exactly what Gary landed on with that power bomb. Right? He's had so much trouble getting back to his feet. He is now back to a vertical base. Gary J fighting to get back in the ring. Official Adam Kennedy trying to restore order to this matchup. Uh, just a chop right to the throat of Gary J. And Shire heading up top. Gary J with headbutts now. Gary has had some time to get himself back into this, this matchup after that power bomb derailed this whole thing. Shire trying to get lock him in for a superplex. Oh my god! 
Oh my God! A superplex through the table onto the exposed wood. And now both men lay in a heap. Thomas Shire tore the ring apart just to tear his own body apart. Him and Gary J both lying in a crumbled mess. Adam Kennedy calling, calling off the count as both men are back to a vertical base. It's up to the referee's discretion to decide when an athlete is back up and when to stop the 10 count. Gary J, despite all odds, is back on his feet here and taking blows from Thomas Shire. And a huge chop rings out throughout Pops. Gary J trying to find a primal gear here. And there's that big European uppercut I talked about earlier in this fight. One of those might be more devastating than any table or exposed wood you could possibly dream up. Both these guys just teeing off on each other right in the center of the ring here. This is what we're all about. This is the main event. This is the big fight feel here from dusk till dawn presented by Grandel Wrestling. Two Titans square it off, center of the ring. There he scoops him up. Oh my God, not on the, no, no, no. On the exposed wood, the UFO. Thomas Shire hits the UFO on the exposed wood. Referee up to five, six. Gary J not even stirring, seven. Eight. This might be it. Ten. That's it. That's it. I've been Greg Jove. I thank you so much for watching and joining us. Stay tuned to all the socials at Grandel Wrestling for the next big Grandel Wrestling production.